My first book recommendation is To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee. This book takes place during 1933 to 1935 in Maycomb, Alabama, where racism was prevalent at that time. This book is told from Scout's point of view, and it talks about racism, but specifically um, human kindness and how we never know what's going on in another human's life. During the first part, I found it a bit boring, but during the latter chapters, the book gets really interesting, and this book just reminded me that there are still kind and good humans out there, and there is still hope for humanity. My next book recommendation is The Kite Runner by Khaled Hosseini. This book takes place during 2001 in Afghanistan. So that I won't spoil you too much, the only thing I'll say is this book is about a boy named Amir who made a mistake during his childhood which haunts him for the rest of his life. This book also has a lot of plot twists so just get ready for that. And slight warning, make sure you have tissues ready because this book is good at making people cry. And to whoever re read Kite Runner, then I think you will like this quote. This is a beautiful yet haunting quote for you a thousand times over. My next book recommendation is The Book Thief by Marcos Zusak. This book takes place during World War II and it is told through the eyes of death and this is about a little girl named Lisselle who is trying to navigate her life during World War II and basically this is all about her life. So what makes this book so special is the writing. Zusak really thought of the correct words to use to convey a message and he also uses those words to make us feel all kinds of emotion so better have some tissue ready my next book recommendation is number the stars by lois Lowry. this book takes place around 1943 during world war ii in denmark so note that germany has already invaded denmark at that time this story follows two girls named Anne marie and ellen in that time the nazi started rounding up the jews who live in denmark and are being relocated so Anne-Marie's parents decided to protect Ellen by letting her live with them and the challenges they will face on protecting a Jewish from the Nazis. My next book recommendation is A Little Princess by Frances Hogson Burnett. This story is about a girl named Sarah Crew who comes to Miss Minchin's boarding school. While she's in the boarding school, her father suddenly dies and now she's forced to work as a servant. So what I like about Sarah is that even though she's rich, she does not let it go to her head and she's still kind to others. I also love her trait of being imaginative because I too used to make my own stories to help myself feel better and to help cure my boredom because as a kid, I really get bored easily. Next is The Giver by Lois Lowry. So this book is about Jonas. Jonas lives in a world where there is no pain and everything is under control. All 12-year-olds go to a ceremony where the chief elder assigns which role they are going to have in the community. Jonas got the role of the receiver, which is the most prestigious role you get. He goes to train with the giver and passes down the memories of the old world to Jonas. Those memories are like the normal memories we experience like snow, sunlight, pain, but no one in their community ever experiences it. This book will revolve around Jonas on how he deals with those memories since he cannot tell everyone about them. This book really made me imagine of me living in the world where there is no pain, no fear, no violence and at some point it shows you the cons of living in a world like that. My last book recommendation is Wonder by R.J. Palacio. This book is all about a 10-year-old boy called August who is born with a rare genetic condition which causes him to have a major facial deformity. So because of this, he has to keep going through surgeries and he hasn't been able to go to a regular school. One day, his mom convinces him to go to a regular middle school and because of his facial deformity, he gets bullied in school. 
This book is told from different people's perspective and this book is mainly about how being kind to someone really makes a difference. I think this should not be just a children's book, rather adults should read this and know what it's like for someone who has to endure bullying and how we should all just be kind to one another.